guys, this is Ivan from BernieBits.com. Uh, today in this tutorial, we're going to follow in the footsteps of our last tutorial, and we're going to continue using the Leonardo, but instead of uh, using the arcade stick that we used last time to simulate keyboard presses, we're going to use an analog joystick to simulate a mouse, and we're going to use the button, the arcade button, to simulate the uh, left mouse key press. Uh, this is very easy to do with these guys because, like I said last time, these guys come out of the box like this, already enabled, so you don't have to do anything. You just have to insert the right code in the Arduino IDE, and it will simulate the uh, cursor movements. So the connections, again, uh, kind of hard to show on video, so I encourage you guys to go see our website, BernieBits.com slash tutorials, where you'll find all the schematics, the instruction, any file you need to download, although there is no files to download for this one, it's only uh, coding, and you'll see the schematic which will tell you exactly how we connect this. So uh, basically the way this is gonna work, I'm gonna move the cursor mouse with the analog joystick up, down, sideways, and the left uh, mouse click will be this button. I could have had another button to simulate the right mouse click, and you can also do the middle mouse button. And you can also simulate the scroll wheel, all with the Leonardo or the Micro. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut here, we're going to look at the code. Code is not too long, it's, uh, I'll go through it fairly fast, and then we'll come back and plug it in and uh, simulate, uh, see what's going on with this. So let's go take a look, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, here we are in the code. Uh, we're going to go through this from uh, the beginning, so we're defining the pins. So pin number two is connected to the joystick switch, pin number four to the arcade button, and uh, the X and Y axis are connected to um, analog pins on the Leonardo. Uh, the parameters for reading the joystick, the cursor speed is equal 10. If you want, uh, when you move the joystick, your mouse cursor moves faster, then you would put a higher number here. And if you want to slow it down, just put a lower number. Um, this to make sure, this part here to make sure that the emulation is not started right away when we plug in the Leonardo, that we need to press the uh, switch on the joystick. And here we're using input pull-ups, so we're using the internal resistors for both of our switches. And we start the emulation here. Basically we don't activate it, we just start it. Then we do our main loop, so if we, it checks to see if the joystick button has been pressed down. If it has, then it's going to read and scale the two axes. So X reading and Y reading will read the value of each axis. And this part here basically gets done at the end here. So what we're doing, we're actually reading the analog value of each axis and ranging them so that when we move the joystick the mouse will move but we can't use a huge number like 1023 or a small number like 2 that doesn't mean anything so basically we're transforming those values to something that will move the mouse so that's what this little part here does and as you can see here if it's below the threshold then the distance is zero and the threshold is this part here that we set the threshold is basically how much do we need to move the joystick for the mouse to actually move. So if it's below that threshold, then we don't move the mouse. So if the mouse control state is active, then we move the mouse. So this is the command, mouse.move, x reading, y reading, zero. The zero here represents the squirrel mouse wheel. Uh, you know, those little uh, scroll wheels that we have on the mouse. So basically you could connect another joystick and use the y-axis of that joystick to actually simulate the scrolling of the mouse wheel and you would put that variable in here uh, then here is just to read the button the left mouse button if it's been pressed or not if it has then mouse dot press mouse left because we're simulating the left mouse button but you could put mouse underscore right for the right and underscore middle for that and then we put a little delay after pressing of 100 millisecond that's to enable single and double click because if you don't have a delay there the code goes so fast that when you press down on the arcade button it would press it would simulate the pressing of the mouse button multiple times even if you do it really fast so a delay of 100 gives you the opportunity to press or double click 
and then if it's not pressed then we release the mouse button in question and a little delay before we restart the loop. So we're gonna compile the code and then we're gonna upload it to the Leonardo. Just make sure in tools that you have the right board selected. We're using the Leonardo, but you could use a micro also, which is the same as a Leonardo, but a lot smaller. So just make sure this is well uh, selected and your serial port also. So let's upload that and let's go back to our testing, uh, testing setup and see what happens. So let's go take a look. All right, so we're back. We uploaded the code to the Leonardo already and we plugged it into the USB port and now it's ready to go. Uh, I, I'm going to put the image of the, um, the window we're going to simulate this with. And as you can see now, I'm going to put the cursor right there with the mouse. So when I move right now, nothing's happening because I need to press down on the switch of the joystick to actually start the emulations like we saw in the code. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to click down. There we go. I clicked it. And now I can move the cursor with the joystick up, down, sideways, even goes diagonal if you do in the corners. And there you go. This is working pretty good. So now let's say I want to go down here. I can press the button to scroll and scroll up if I wanted to. Now the speed at which the cursor moves like we saw in the code <clears throat> is dependent on the uh, range variable value. Right now we're at 10, but you could put this lower to go slower or higher for the mouse cursor to actually move around a lot faster. And we're only using one, but uh, the left mouse button, so if I hold it down, I can move the whole window like you see. And double click will still work too, you know, because of the delay we put in the code. So we're using only the left mouse button, like I said, but you could put two more because it supports uh, left, right, and middle mouse button. <clears throat> Sorry. And you can also simulate the scroll wheel. So in the last value, you could put one of these axes to actually reflect the scroll wheel. So when you go up, down, it would scroll in a web page or something like that. So there you go, guys. That's not, <clears throat> not something too hard to do, uh, but... It's nice to know that these guys can do keyboard presses, emu emulate keyboards, emulate uh, mouse, and uh, with uh, these little modules and a button you can simulate uh, something like that. Uh, like I said, this could be useful, let's say if you build an arcade cabinet or a, a kiosk, instead of having a mouse connected that people could rip out or something, you could actually use one of these for the people to actually move the cursor around the screen like that instead of having a mouse and putting hard buttons like this instead of having mouse buttons. So you could build yourself a nice little kiosk with limited capability so or the capabilities that you want the people to have. So that's it for today. That's the tutorial for today. Again, I encourage you guys to go check out our website. We sell all the parts and we sell the Leonardo, we sell the Unos, uh, so you guys can make your own project and follow along. And we have other things coming, uh, coming soon on the website. We're working on building a forum right now. So when you guys watch these videos, you can always comment in the YouTube channel, of course. But uh, also we're going to create a forum where you guys can uh, help each other out to actually uh, progress into your learning of all this stuff. And we're trying to build a little community. So we'll keep you guys posted on that. We're still working on that. But in the meantime, if you like these videos, like I always say, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll get notified when we post new ones. So once again, guys, thanks for watching and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.